previously in Let's Play Mega Man 11. <laughs> what did I think of the amusement park? I rated it 10 out of 10. I had a blast. And now for the continuation. Salutations everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 11. So now it's time for us to go after this blockhead. That's right, we're going after Blockman. Yeah, technically a lot of people like to go after this guy first because, well, what can I say? I mean, they introduce him right off the bat in the first cutscene you see when you start off the game. And, yeah, in one sense they kind of have the cursor on him almost immediately when you start up the game in one sense. So, that's something to keep in mind. And on top of that, this is the guy that I've practiced the stage pretty much mostly, um, yeah, for the most time in this game, because what can I say, when I got the demo of this game, oh, by the way, I just shot that guy without using the speed boost, yeah, those uh, roller guys, sometimes you have to use your speed boost to just shoot them correctly and whatnot. Anyways, yeah, the, when this game came out, uh, as a demo, basically, this was the stage that you could play as and go against Blockman. And what can I say, I got the most practice out of this stage, and I'm not going to sit there and say I'm good at this stage, just I had the most practice out of it. So hopefully this could be a stage uh, I don't die in, so let's find out. Oh jeez, I keep screwing up against that guy. Well, I got him. Okay, there you go. And yeah, here I'm just going up there just to get the bolts up there. Nothing really particular up there, just getting the bolts, that's all. But yeah, this stage, as you can see, there's a bunch of blocks that go down. Yeah, as you can see over the hole here, I didn't want to jump there. Whoa, oh, good thing I had a beat rescue. Oh man, what was I thinking? Jeez. But then we have this guy, and I can use his weakness on him, which is actually Blast Man's weapon. And just use the power gear to just eliminate him pretty quickly. But he's not particularly too hard, so I'll just get him nonetheless this way. So, alright, come on. There we go. See? Just like that. Not too hard. And just move on the way. So, what else can I say? Okay, go up here. Get that. There we go. Alright. So, just move along the way. Yeah, pretty much all these stages are straightforward as it is. This stage is kind of like... I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's like kind of like a weird, unusual block castle in one sense. But simultaneously, something about this reminds me of like Cutman's stage in one sense. Just in a weird twist, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Go here, and then that thing drops down, and that like wall thing is instant death. But as you can see, these wall things are constantly coming at you, so sometimes you have to just be really, really quick. Oh, jeez, come on. I gotta probably use the speed gear. Nope, nope, okay. Yeah, you only have three walls yet to get past, but yeah, uh, if you don't get past them and you get right into those uh, like spinning blades that came up from behind you, it's instant death, so try to be quick going through those walls, so. All right, come on, gotta go over here, get rid of that guy, lock goes down, yep. And yeah, for the most part, yeah, just try to take your time here. Got blocks that keep coming down, and yeah, a bunch of enemies keep spawning in. This is ridiculous. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Trying to make sure I don't, uh, or, jeez, I just dropped all the way down. Come on. Just trying to, you know, time my jumps correctly so that way I don't hit a block and fall down. I'm out of, uh, beat rescues. Ugh, come on. Go up, go up. Hey, okay, uh, good. All right. Come on. All right. And good. All right. There we go. Yeah, sometimes that can be a pain in the butt with the conveyor belts and whatnot. It's just kind of ridiculous. Whoa, that guy did just turn around. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Just keep going along the way here, and that's all I can really say. Just watch out for the blocks and time your jumps out carefully. That guy, that guy. There we go. Alright. Okay. And there we go. And we have this boss again, but this time we're on a conveyor belt. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Whoa. Not good. Okay. I should be able to get him. I don't really need his weakness per se. Oh, come on. Should be able to get him. And there we go. Now up ahead here, we actually have what you call a uh, Nega, like a Dark Eddie, basically. As you can see, he ran off with that 1-up, but I destroyed him quick enough so I can get the 1-up. So it doesn't really matter if you defeat him or not. It's just, yeah, those guys just have a... Uh, uh, like an item or something that they'll use or carry off with. Oh, okay, there we go. Woo! 
Yeah, all these guys keep uh, disappearing, reappearing. Kind of know where they're at because of the like the weird vortex they're in and whatnot. All right, come on. All right, that should do it. Okay, we have another one of these spots up ahead here. Ooh. Uh, yeah, when you get one of those, every once in a while you get one of those uh, things there where a random thing can come out. You can either get an E tank or whatnot. Come on, slide through. All right, I made that one look a little bit easier than normal. All right. And, all right, yeah. You normally, you would have three walls you have to get past, but uh, because I went quick enough, I only had the one wall for each of those sections, so that was pretty nice. All right, just move along the way. Oh, this part here. Oh, this part's tricky. Yeah, you constantly have these blocks going down like crazy. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know you have to use Russian ones. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. All right. How about I just jump over and go over here? Um, hmm. All right. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Ow. All right. This. There we go. Okay. Made up here. All right. Oh, block over there. Okay. And we're good. Yeah, that part's a little bit tricky because, yeah, you have to get up as quick as you possibly can. If you did what I did... Yeah, it's not too hard. And, yeah, just continue along the way, so... <laughs> I just keep saying continue along the way. I don't know why. All right. And more conveyor belts. Jump, get that guy. All right. Do we have another guy? Um, nope. Okay. Yeah, sometimes if you can't get the guy, just avoid them. And there's another one of those, like... Uh, dark eddies or whatever. I, I, I'm gonna call them dark eddies. I'm. I have to look at the player or the bad guy uh, bio thing or the enemy list later. But we're here at Blockman nonetheless, and obviously he's weak to Blast Man. So, all right. Really? I'm just another brick in the wall. Oh yeah. By the way, he's just gonna constantly run back and forth until you actually attack him. So, as you can see here, he, yeah. Until you actually attack him, he just runs back and forth, basically. Oh, and when you do enough damage, he turns into a giant brick monster. And the weakness is that, like, light there on his chest there. And that's kind of what I was saving uh, uh, Blast Man's weapon for, was for that. And we got him. There we go. Not too hard. Very easy if you have his weakness. So there you go, guys. But what do we get for defeating uh, a block man? Let's find out. Better not be some kind of a blockhead uh, move. <laughs> it is. But to be honest, I actually like the idea of this uh, move in one sense. It's kind of clever. It was cheesy when I first saw it, but I kind of grown into it, and I absolutely love it. Basically, what you get is... Block dropper. Basically, you uh, drop blocks on your enemies. Like so. <laughs> it's cheesy. When you power it up, you drop a lot more blocks. It's very fun. It's very easy to use. It's it's awesome. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I had a cut there for a moment because basically when I get done with this tutorial, because we defeated four robot masters, we get a cutscene. And I wanted to record the cutscene, obviously. Doctor... Is something wrong? Yeah, is there something wrong, the Dr. Light? Gear system. Yeah? It was so very long ago. Yeah, I could tell it was. It was on that day. Wiley and I had our fall. Is that auto out peeking out there? And the roll? In our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Oh, really? Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. I could imagine. Hmm. A future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. Really? Well, I know that's what your goal has always been. By giving robots independent thought. They could be true partners to humankind at last. Well, in one sense, I agree with you, I Dr. Light. Always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. Wow, that's a harsh way of putting it. With unstoppable power, insurmountable speed. It's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans. Whoa, hold on. Truly accept robots for what they are. Well, now I can see Dr. Light's reasoning behind uh, stopping Dr. Wiley back when he was a student. 
That's a harsh way of putting it, Dr. Wily. robot can instantly become a hero. Aren't they already heroes, stronger and more capable than humans in the first place? However, I was strongly opposed to Wily's ideas and I kind of agree with you, Dr. Light. That was one heck of a way of putting it. It puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. Yeah, if you burn that if thing out, it's it sucks. Hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. Oh yeah, obviously. At the time, well, <laughs> the it goes auto and roll. And Wiley's research was canceled. Hmm. In favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me. Wow. And his views so that start the rivalry behind Doctor Light and Doctor Wiley, How all because of that moment. <laughs> There's Otto and Roll again looking in the background. Before it led him astray, only ended up fueling the fire. Yeah, I could tell it really fueled the fire. I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together instead of just Well, didn't you guys work together in Mega Man 3 for a brief moment? Then again, he did betray us, so I don't know. To work together. Hmm. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. Yes, I if would agree with that. Properly, it has been pretty useful in the certain trust. situations I needed it, so... Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Wow, that's a lot of trust, Ma oh, uh, Dr. I Light. I something very important. What's that? I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. All He's right, can we use Rush Jet? That's right, guys. Now we actually Rush. get Rush Jet. Yeah, it takes four Bot Masters to defeat to get Rush safe. Jet, but you we finally get Rush now. Jet nonetheless. So there you go, guys. It's Rush Jet. We've got this, Rush. All righty. <laughs> Look, there's okay, Eddie and Beat and everyone else in the background looking. <laughs> everyone was listening in. But yeah, guys, just like uh, like I said, we have Rush Jet. And basically, you can just summon him whenever you want by pushing the B button on the Xbox uh, controller. So there you go. I would imagine that would be Circle on the, on the PlayStation and B button. Or what is it? It would be A button on... Switch. But there you go, guys. That was the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to buy some things here. So until the, uh, the next episode, guys, you guys take care. I'll see you all on the next one. Yeah, I can use that for more uh, eddies and beats. That'd be useful. As you can see, I can buy more eddies and beats. So very useful. But yeah, guys, until the next episode, guys, you guys take care. I'll see you all on the next one. Where... Yeah, we're going to put our new block uh, ability to good use.